technical difficulties again tonight. I'm going live the old fashioned way and this is all up in my face and all up in my frizzy hair, but I'm live. Happy Monday. <laughs> my husband just said hi from outside on the porch. So John says hi. Oh my goodness. I'm late because my husband made me tacos for supper and he was putzing around. So I had to quick scarf down a taco before I came up here. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. Thanks for joining me live. I'm just going to log into my page here so that I can see all your comments. Hey, Kay, how are you? Um, Because when I flip the camera around, I'm not going to be able to see all your lovely comments. Hi, Paula. And I want to make sure I can see what you have to say. I see Kim just shared using my hashtag, Country Cards by Rose Live. That's how you get entered for the prize drawing um, for shares. So thanks for doing that and thanks for the reminder. I don't have my notes with me because usually it's on my computer and my computer's not working right now to bring me live. And I feel like this thing just keeps right on inching right up. So... I'm here at least, right? Okay, let's log on and see the live. Hey, Judy. Hi, Sue. Is everyone having a good Monday today? You know, Monday isn't everybody's favorite day of the week, but... Oh, oh. Hey, there we go. Hey, I can see everyone's comments now. Yay. Okay, tonight... I have got a treat for you. We are playing around with this gorgeous bundle. We're going to use the dies too. I know sometimes I show you how you can just stamp with the stamps and pretty paper. And you know I love simple cards. The card we make tonight does not look simple at all, but it is. You can make it. And it is a beautiful layout that you can use with the beautiful, beautiful Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper. Super, super excited to share with you. Got some new, um, new, what's the word I'm looking for? New twine to try out that matches a new ribbon. You know, I put ribbon on like every single card. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Kay. Um, so we're going to try out some new ribbon, and um, I have a design, I have a card I've designed for this, but we're going to try a totally new color combination that you might not have thought of using um, this paper. And of course there's prizes, <clears throat> there's always prizes. So remember this partial die cut technique card? So, um, I made this pretty card. Oh gosh, this feels like forever ago. It was a couple weeks ago now. Um, because I had my five days of catalog kickoff live. Well, this card is the card I'm giving away for comments. Um, so, uh, should we go right into prizes? I feel like I should go right into prizes. Uh, first, let me introduce myself <laughs> before I go right into prizes. For those of you who don't know me, if this is your first time watching me live, welcome. Super, super glad that you're here. Um, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And um, I've been stamping for a number of years now. I'm super passionate about um, being your creative coach and sharing creativity with you. I really like to make simple, stunning cards. So I promise you that everything I make, you are going to be able to recreate at home. I have a YouTube channel where I share lots and lots of video tutorials with you. All the replays of my lives and my other videos that I do for my blog posts are all there. So if you are catching the replay on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit subscribe. That way you will have all of my videos in one handy place. Um, I'm stamping with you tonight in my studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin, and um, it's warm. So I've got the windows open and the breeze blowing through, and hopefully you can hear me over the breeze. 
Um, if you can't, I can always slide that window shut, but <clears throat> that's just the way it is when you live out in the country. You might hear my dogs running around outside too, and sometimes my husband likes to throw in a little one-liner from out the window while he's sitting on the deck. So, okay, now back to prizes. Partial die cut card. One of my favorite cards I have ever made. This is using the hand penned bundle, which is going to be my bundle for my next month's class. So my June class to go is going to feature the hand penned bundle and the hand penned memories and more pack. You are not going to believe how gorgeous that pack is and the beautiful cards I have planned for you. So the winner of this for comments Pam McCann. Congratulations, Pam. Um, I don't have your address. And this was a little impromptu. So I will edit this video when I'm done and share the link for you to fill out my prize form. And then you can just fill out the prize form and I'll get it in the mail to you this week. Now for shares, Remember, my goal is to share creativity with those of you who could really use a little inspiration. Well, when you share my video, you really help me out. Like, it makes my heart happy when I see all those shared comments and I look on my Country Cards by Rose live hashtag and see all the shares there. I absolutely love it. So if you would just take a minute and hit that share and use the hashtag Country Cards by Rose live, you totally will make my whole night. Okay, so for shares, for last time, I'm giving away a pack of cards that I made. There are one, two, it looks like four cards in here. I actually made these simple cards to, sh uh, to some beginner stampers for an online um, stamp party that I uh, hosted or that I coached or demonstrated at, I think is the right word. And I wanted to show them how they could just make cards, pretty cards with stamp, ink, and paper. And so this is, it's all packaged up in a nice little box. This is my prize for sharing for last week. And the winner of that is Cindy Howard. So congratulations, Cindy. I am uh, super excited to send this to you this week. So just like Pam, I will get the um, link up. I'll edit my description and I'll get that link up. Um, as soon as I wrap up here so you can fill out that prize claim form and I will get this in the mail to you. So what do you say? Should we do some stamping? I think we should stamp. I think you're going to like the card I have tonight. Super, super pretty. So I'm going to flip you around. I don't have my technology working to do it the fancy way. So back to old fashioned times. Please ignore my ceiling that desperately needs to be scraped and repainted. I think I might have switched you before you had to see it. Get a little more light here. I just want to shift this a little bit because I have some uh, a grid pattern underneath my uh, wooden desktop here and it gets a little busy. I don't want you to be distracted have it be annoying. So I know there's some glare, but I think that's going to do for now. Uh, what do we think? How's that looking? I feel like I can still see that grid. Should we try this again? That looks a little bit better. There we go, okay. There's a delay on my end too when I am doing this. So <clears throat> there was less of a delay when I was doing my live through my fancy way, but this'll work. Okay, artistically inked. First of all, have you seen this bundle? Oh my gosh, it is absolutely stunning. It is featured not only on pages 96 and 97 of the catalog, the suite is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to make some cards with this ephemera pack, but not tonight. Tonight I'm showing you a card that does not use these, but I will show you cards with these. Don't you worry. Um, 
all these beautiful, beautiful projects. Oh my goodness, this layered one just has me drooling. So it's featured on pages 96 and 97. Of course, the suite comes with some paper and the ephemera pack and then the bundle. It's also on the cover. This is how I knew that this is going to be an amazing catalog as soon as I saw this on the cover. So, <clears throat> okay. Our stamp set has 12 images. It looks like that alcohol, um, the alcohol spritz. I forget the name of that technique. I'm not really good with vocabulary words. So, all right, let's take a look at this pretty paper. So the um, designer series paper coordinates with Evening Evergreen, uh, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, Mint Macaron, Pale Papaya, Pear Pizzazz, Polished Pink, Shaded Spruce, and Whisper White. I've been playing around with this stuff. Tonight we're gonna use this gorgeous foil striped pattern. And we're going to use this pretty green and foil pattern. It's going to be amazing. I do not know why there are flickers of light on all oh, there. It's because of the striping. Um, and we're going to use, that's it, some other cardstock, of course. I just want to take a minute though and show you the absolutely stunning patterns in here. Aren't these gorgeous? Oh my gosh. They are so pretty. I just love them. Okay, and oh, so pretty. It's just beautiful. Uh, this is my favorite paper ever. And I usually am typically drawn to like the silver of the metals. But this one is, <clears throat> it has gold like metallic flecks in it and uh, I love it. So they have, Stampin' Up! has converted me to gold all with this pretty paper. And gold is very, very in right now if you follow fashion trends and whatnot super popular so let me get my little oh and of course what you know i put my pieces away that we're going to use for the card that's the sort of thing i do so let's get those back out i was having a hard time when i was getting ready deciding if i wanted to go with evening evergreen or shaded spruce for my card base, but I decided, I think I like the shaded spruce a little bit better with this striped pattern. What do you think? Oh, Margaret's asking where I get my plastic sleeve, my papers in. I order those on Amazon. Um, I can't, okay. The brand on here is called Cropper Hopper, I think. Um, so I just look for like 12 by 12 paper sleeves, I think. And then I store them, you know, kind of standing upright. But I like it because then I can open my pack and play around and just see how beautiful. So, oh, I see everyone voting for shaded spruce. I agree. I'm all about the shaded spruce with this color. I think it's going to go really good with this white and gold striped. So, we're doing a tall card today, and does anyone remember my rule for tall cards? Okay, so we're going to cut this tall card. Instead of cutting the cardstock in half this way, we're going to cut it like a hot dog cut. Do you remember hamburger folds and hot dog folds? We're going to do a hot dog cut. So we just line this up at four and a quarter and cut. Now, oops, oops, my wind is blowing my stuff everywhere, so let me just, okay, when we have tall cards and you want a nice crisp fold, you definitely need to score your card. Now, 
What I love about our stamp and trimmer is that you have the two blades, the cutting blade and the scoring blade. So I'm just gonna line this up. I think this is called paper trimmer. Line this up with five and a half, that's half of my length of the card here, and I'm just gonna score that. Now, another question I get asked quite a bit is how do I know what way I'm supposed to fold my card base? Well, when you score, one side is indented and the other side is popped up. You always want the popped up uh, score to be on the inside of your fold. So I'm gonna fold that. and burnish that edge really good. And there we have our card base. Okay, slip this under here so it doesn't blow away. I have a little more cutting to do. I'm gonna grab a scrap of basic white. And actually, let me show you how I store this too. So I have a file cabinet behind me where I keep all of my cardstock in. And in each file cabinet, or in each drawer, I have hanging files that I've labeled. I need to update this label to say basic white instead of whisper white. And I, in the file, I put my package opened on one end of whole sheets of paper. And then when I have some scraps, I just stick them in a file folder, which you can see this one is well loved, that's sitting in front. And then it all just hangs in my file just like that. So I keep all my scraps together with my sheet and we're going to need a couple scraps of whisper white or basic white As you can see i've been playing around i think i'm gonna grab just one more just in case so there's a little storage tip for you okay i'm gonna cut one of these down to three and three quarters by three and a half so three and three quarters three and a half. Okay, and I'm going to set this aside with my shaded spruce. Keep these handy for our die cuts when the time is right. Oh yes, Kathleen says, fold on the mountain, not in the valley. Absolutely. Sue and Kim love my storage ideas. Good. So happy I could help out. Okay, now for our pretty paper, I want to make sure I don't waste any of this gorgeousness. So I am going to cut this. When I make layers for my cards, I'm always trying to do them like three inches wide or four inches wide because that way I know if I do it three inches wide I'm getting four of them. If I do it three inches wide um, I'm getting four of them. If I do it four inches wide I'm getting three. So um, we're going to cut this three inches wide and I try and work around those dimensions. So line this up at three inches. And you know, when I line this up on my trimmer, I am not only lining it up at the bottom, I watch to make sure that it lines up all the way along my trimmer line. All right, now, now I have a choice to make. Do I want more of this showing on my card or this dark? So, Let's see. What do we think? The dark? Yeah, I think I want the dark. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this at five and a half. And if you all disagree with me, I'll cut the other one to five and a half. I could have a little bit of both if I cut this bottom off. Maybe I'll do that. I'll cut this bottom off. So five and a half. Does anyone watching have a preference? Do we want my darker piece 
on my lighter piece. This is going to go on our card like this. So here's the darker. Here's the lighter. I think I'm feeling the dark. And then I can use this piece with a pair of pizzazz card base. All right. Okay, so we've got that. Now, let me grab my white and gold. Oh, everyone's saying lighter. Yeah, well, we can still swap this out. No worries. Okay. So, I've got my uh, piece of foil and white. Look at the back. Isn't that pretty? Everyone's saying whiter, except Cindy. She's a darker gal. All right. I'm going to cut this down to three quarters of an inch, a strip that's just three quarters of an inch here. And now I'm going to cut two of these off at three and a half. So three and a half. And three and a half. Now, the reason I do it this way is because these are going to be peeking out behind one of my layers, but I don't want to waste all that empty space where my white is going to go. So these are just going to get tucked on the top and the bottom. Okay. So let's take a little break from cutting and do some stamping. All right, grab all my things. I'm gonna use this bigger flower and the smaller flower plus some of the leaves. So, um, now this stamp set has 12 images total. So you got the big and the small, a couple smaller ones, this ink blotch, and then some sentiments. I really love the hello font. I just love that one and the birthday. I really love it all but I really, really like this font. So I'm going to grab my, I have these all ready to go. So I'm gonna grab my, gotta find my scraps. Here I put them. Here they are. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with polished pink. Everyone's saying lighter still. Interesting. Okay. Polished pink, and I'm going to stamp this on here. Oh, so pretty. I love that pink. And next, I'm going to do my smaller flower the rose and a pale papaya that and I think I'm going to grab my evening evergreen and I'm looking for my shaded spruce here we go I'm going to, I want to die cut a couple pieces at the same time. So I'm just going to trim this off. And then I will grab this extra little scrap. And we have these two flowers. And I'm going to stamp these in shaded spruce. And I need two of them. Let's do that twice. I love the shading on these. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, I don't want this to blow away. All right, time to do some die cutting. What do you think of these images? Aren't these like splotchy, splashed 
ink images just like the bee's knees. I absolutely love them. Okay, now we're going to grab our dies to coordinate. And I'm going to use, oops, let me get this out of here, not the whole thing. Of course, we're going to cut out our flower. Okay, line that up. And then our rows. There we go. And then our leaves, just like so. Okay. Of course, as I put the cover on this, they shifted. There we go. Okay, we're gonna run this through. Uh, I do have the mini cutter, Cindy. Actually, the only reason I'm using this right now is that my mini cutter is holding down a stack of papers on my uh, dresser behind me my little desk behind me and I don't want them to blow away with this breeze coming in but these would absolutely fit in your mini cutter uh, they fit great and I love it it's being used as a paperweight right now so since this was next to me it's just what I grabbed <laughs> I love it it's like it's like a little purse right next to me on my desk and I love it it's cute and it doesn't take up a lot of space and you know I actually am going to give away a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine in fact I think I should roll that out right now what do you think huh I would like to share creativity with as many people as I can and you can help me out by sharing my page with your friends and asking them to like and follow my page. So if you have friends who like to stamp, I would love it if they would like and follow my page. And if you do that and share with your friends, when I hit a thousand followers, I will do a drawing for every single one who's liked or followed my page to win a mini stamp and cut emboss machine. How about them apples? That seems kind of fun if you ask me. All right. We are gonna do a little more die cutting with our gold foil sheets because as soon as I saw this leaf thingy, I knew I wanted it in gold foil. So I'm gonna cut that too. So what do you think? You think you can share so that we can do some, a fun giveaway like that? I would love to do that giveaway. A mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Share with your friends when I hit a thousand I will do a drawing for everyone who has liked and followed my page. All right. I went through a few times because I'm using some old plates and I didn't want this to get all stuck. So, okay. Tell me that these leaves are not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen. Aren't they gorgeous? And what I like 
is that these little tiny pieces, when you're using the gold foil sheets, they pop out like magic. They pop out so easy. And sometimes I don't even care if all of them are popped out because it looks kind of fun and whimsical to have some of them still in and some of them popped out. At least that's my little shabby chic, if you ask me. Okay. So here's our pretty gold leaves. And I think I have everything cut and die cut now. So let's start putting our card together. Set some of this stuff aside. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is a little more stamping. So let me grab my Evening Evergreen. And I'm going to use my Hello Sentiment. And I'm going to stamp this in the upper corner. Just like that. Okay, now. Do we see what's coming out? My silicone craft sheet, you know what that means. We're going to be gluing, which is super fun because I love my seal. You can hear angels sing when you use stamp and seal. It's so smooth and amazing and wonderful. You don't have to push very hard. In fact, if you're struggling with your stamp and seal, you might be pushing just a little too hard. So I like to make sure it's sticky on the end. And I am going to, I'm going to run this tape runner all the way along the outside edge of this layer. Very lightly here. Rolling along. And then I'm going to do the same with the other piece. Just along that outside edge. Okay, and then we are going to glue this on. So what I want to do, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to line this up, get it nice and straight. There we go. And we just have that white and gold striped layer peeking out from behind our basic white layer. Hi, Melanie. Thanks for joining. Okay, now we're going to flip this over and we're going to do the same on the bottom. I want to line this up and I'm making sure my edges are straight so that I know this layer is on straight. Just like this. And there we've got it looking like a layer and peeking out, but I haven't wasted all of this paper here. So that's a good tip for when you want to use the accents on your pretty designer series paper. Okay, now the order we do this in totally matters. So I'm going to get out my new Simply Elegant Trim, and I'm going to use this gold, of course, because we want the gold to match. So let's I'm going to wrap this around twice. A lot of these trim pieces I kind of like to wrap twice to make sure you can see it really well. Okay, I'll do 
you can. So you're going to want to make sure this is tight, but not so tight that it um, curls up your card. Okay, now I'm just going to tie this in a bow. This trim is pretty good at kind of staying put where you want it to stay. And it's a little bit bulkier than like a baker's twine. So this one is the one I don't tie in a knot before I tie it in a bow. I don't want it to be too bulky. go. And then I'm just going to trim the edges of those. Yes, no buckling. You are right. I don't want this to buckle. Now, sometimes, let me share another little tip with you. I want this bow to stay put. So one thing that helps me is our glue dots. So I like to take our mini glue dots and I'll usually just take like the point of my snips or um, sometimes I'll take your, um, take your pick tool and I like to kind of tuck it in under there to keep everything situated. And of course when I did that I twisted the darn bow, which I don't like a twisted bow. There we go. All right. So now we need our die cut pieces. We are going to layer these. around our hello yeah so I'll do it like this and then this will be I think yeah on top all right so let's grab our dimensionals I'm just gonna stick a couple of these on here I want to pop up this flower layer And I'm working to work around this sentiment, this hello sentiment. There we go. And then when I place this pale papaya flower here, okay, I'm paying attention to where this is going to be over the top of my white. And it's going to be here because that's the piece I'm going to put down my dimensional on and then the portion that's covering my pink that's going to get a little bit of glue on it because we've already popped up our pink layer so we don't need to do the same with our papaya okay and I always do those bigger pieces first and then I look to tuck in are smaller things like greenery after that. So I'm gonna grab my glue dots here and I'll put one on each leaf. I don't want these to go anywhere. And then I'm just going to tuck these in. I'll go up here. And then the other one I'm going to tuck down here. So we'll do the same. So I'm just going to put a glue dot on each leaf. And then I just tuck. When I do layers, I actually find it easier to tuck the um, layers beneath 
then to start from the bottom layers and work up. So that is uh, a tip for those of you who want to do more layering in your cards. I often watch like the artisan design team and others and I think, oh my goodness, your layers are so gorgeous. Um, but I never know how to make them. And I learned that to make them really pop and look stunning, sometimes you got to start with the main layers and just tuck and keep tucking underneath till you hit that just about right point. Okay, we're going to start putting our card front together here. And actually, I did forget to cut one more piece, the inside layer. So we'll do this at four by five and a quarter. This. And we got to do a little stamping too. So let's stamp. Our pretty, where did it go? Our big one. Our pretty pink on the inside. Going to go kind of off to the side here. Like that. And then our leaves next. So for our leaves, I'm going to, hmm, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to go here like that. Okay, now let's get to putting our card together. Uh, do I want this at the top or the bottom? It's right. Oops. Okay, so let's open it up and get our card layer on the inside. My gosh, that pink really pops against the green. Don't you think? I love it. Okay, so there's our inside. And now let's get to putting on our card front. Okay, so I'm just gonna line this up. It really does not matter how far from the edges you go. You can do it right in the center. You can do it more to the right side. It's totally up to you. And then we've got this pretty um, leaf, gold leaf that I die cut. And I'm just going to take my tape runner and I'm going to go over some of these leaves. The silicone craft sheet really helps with this. I don't have to be too particular. Whoops. Of course, it's picking up all my little pieces. There we go. Okay, and now I am going to, here's my other layer that's going to kind of peek out. All right, like so. There we go. Okay, and I want this one glued down nice, so sometimes I'll just come in here and there, slide my tape runner over it. Okay, so now we've got a layer here with our pretty leaves, and 
I gotta find my dimensionals because I lost them. Here we go. What are you thinking so far? Are you liking this? Okay, we're gonna flip this over and we are gonna put some dimensionals on this layer. I don't want this going anywhere. So we're really letting the paper and the pretty images do like all the work here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna line this up. And stick it down. There we have it now. I want to use some of the pretty, uh, what are these sequins from the Expressions in Ink ephemera pack. So, I'm going to put one for sure here. I'm going to put one here. And here. Does that need, is that good? I think that's good. Gotta be careful not to overdo it sometimes. Okay, there we have it. Our card is done. What do you think? Do you love that? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this gold. Oh, thank you, everyone. Love the gold leaf. Pretty. I'm seeing lots and lots of loves. I love that. Now, as I was playing around, I used a different color palette. What do you think of the polished pink? So this one uses the polished pink and pale papaya pieces. And then for my ribbon, instead of that pretty simply elegant I used the um, gold shimmer ribbon. You like those? Which one do you like the best? Are you into the pink or the shaded spruce? I can't decide which one I like better. This one really could use some bling too, actually. So since I have them out, why not? One there, one here, one down here. Oh, I like them both. Thank you everyone so much. I'm super excited to do more crafting with this. You know you're gonna see lots more. Uh, with this set from me because I'm not going to be able to put it down. So I sure hope to uh, bring you even more inspiration with this set. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining me. That's all I have for you tonight. I had so much fun stamping with you. I hope you learned a thing or two. And I hope you'll join me again right here next Monday for, actually, next Monday is Memorial Day. I'm not sure if I'll be live. Watch your email and watch my Facebook page. Um, I'll let you know if I'm going to go live or if um, I may be uh, with family. So I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. All right. Other than that, I'm here every Monday at 7 Central Time. I had a blast tonight. Thanks so much for joining me, and we'll see you again here on my next Make It Monday. Okay, bye, guys.